What's up, everybody? My name is Key Air, and you are watching the important things that really matter. What's up, everybody? My name is Key Air, and you are watching the important things that really matter. Today, we're going to go into women who pick the wrong men, part seven. Women who pick the wrong men, part seven. And in this particular part, Women Who Picked the Wrong Men, Part 7, we're going to be going in-depth as to a particular type of person that a lot of women pick, and they may not know that they have picked this type of person until it's a little bit too late. And we're going to be talking about uh, women who pick narcissistic people. Now, this is a key, humongous buzzword nowadays going on in, in the uh, community narcissist uh, most folks don't even know what a narcissist is they just say because they hear other people saying this saying it but I'm gonna go into what a narcissist is uh, a male or narcissist but also all the qualities that apply to a male narcissist would also apply to a female narcissist okay so we're gonna go into that I'm gonna go into a lot of specific pro um, I'm gonna go into a lot of the specific characteristics of a narcissist to let you know what to look for. <clears throat> After I go through this, these list of characteristics, which I have learned from firsthand experience, because I've had to deal with a narcissistic person myself. <laughs> and uh, basically, in a nutshell, when you hear these characteristics, you see these characteristics, I'm just letting you know right now, you need to run. You need to run. You need to run because the longer you stay with a narcissistic person, your self-esteem is gonna drop. They may darn near make you feel like you're going crazy or they might get you so frustrated and so messed up on the inside that they might cause you to go to the dark side. I mean, the dark side where you are planning on doing something to the person, okay? And so, it is best that you go ahead and run if you start hearing some of these qualities and characteristics of this type of person who is basically a very, very wicked person. So ladies, keep your eyes and your ears open greatly as to what I have to say. Um, one of the main characteristics you will find of a person who is a narcissist which is, uh, and I'm specifically talking about a male narcissist, but this also will apply for females also too. Uh, a, a narcissist is a compulsive liar. They lie about every darn thing. Do you hear me? They lie about every stuff they don't even have to lie about. They lie about. So basically in a nutshell, they are so much of a compulsive liar that when they're moving their lips, just assume they're lying, okay? When they're moving their lips, just, just go ahead and make the assumption that they're lying, okay? I had one person tell me this far out crazy story had me believing it was true. And they were looking at me, oh yeah, this is true, yeah. yeah. Had me thinking this stuff was true like I don't know what. I went to one of my relatives and I said, went to them and asked them about it like what they looking at me like what are you talking about I said are you serious I like you're not having any health problems in this area no I'm not having no health problems I said this particular person in the family said this 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 gave all this elaborate details and everything said you're going to the doctor you're going this you're doing this you're having these problems and and this and so the person was like I never told that person that that didn't even happen. And so when I went back and confronted the person about what they said to me, this big elaborate lie, they're gonna turn around and do what they call gaslighting. I didn't say that. I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't say that. And they lie through their teeth. Remember what I say, a narcissistic person is a compulsive liar. Just assume that when they're moving their lips, they're lying, okay? That's male or female. Like I said before, I know from firsthand experience. That's one of the qualities. Compulsive liar. Another one of the qualities 
which is very, very dangerous, is that narcissistic people do not have a conscience. They have no conscience. Do you hear what I'm saying? They can do evil to people, and they'll get in the bed and go right to sleep. They'll be like, oh. They'll sleep even good when they did something evil to somebody. Now, if you're a halfway decent human being, a halfway decent person, a halfway decent human being, and you do something to somebody, maybe you snapped at somebody, you may not have been doing well that particular day, or you were under a lot of stress, or under a lot of tension, you may have snapped at somebody, you may have said something wrong to somebody, you may have did something to somebody, and you later on you're like, you know, I shouldn't have done that. I feel bad about doing that. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have said that to this person. I shouldn't have made them feel bad about themselves. And then later on, you be like, you call the person up and you're like, hey, I'm sorry for saying what I did or, or doing what I did, saying what I did. I'm sorry. I, if I hurt you in any way, I ask you, please, uh, please forgive me. I was just under a lot of stress at that particular point in the day. You know? And so, a regular person, a regular human being will do something like that because they have a conscience. Narcissistic people have no conscience. Are you listening to me? Are you hearing the words that are coming out of my mouth? Narcissistic people have no conscience. They thrive on confusion, chaos, destruction. They thrive on doing evil to people. They get off on it. They sleep real well when they do evil to somebody. They stab somebody in the back, oh, they're gonna have a great sleep. You talk with a narcissistic person, they'll argue with you all day long. By the time you finish having a 15 or 20 minute argument with a narcissistic person, you will have to go lay down for four hours to recuperate from the argument. They, they just go down, go and lay down there and be like, oh, I had a wonderful day. Even though they cause all types of confusion and arguing with you and whatnot. These are some of the characteristics. The narcissistic people are extremely wicked people. They are twisted. That's part of the word, what the word wicked means. They are twisted. They get off on seeing people in pain. They get off on seeing people doing evil to other people. Smile, laugh, joke, all that type of stuff, and then stab you in the back. These are the people. Now, let me give you an example of a narcissistic person. This woman was married to her husband. Later on, this woman sits up here and finds out that her husband was screwing around with her younger sister. Then she found out that her husband was screwing around with the older sister, too, and may still be screwing around with her. Okay, this is what narcissistic people do. They have no conscience. Any person with a regular conscience would not sit up here, be married to their wife, and then turn around and try to screw the wife's sisters, the older sister and the younger sister. Once again, fair use, fair use, fair use. A narcissistic pe person has no conscience. They don't think about that. They don't like, well, so what? Them? They'd be like, so what? They screwing the older sister and the younger sister. Hey, we're keeping it all in the family. <laughs> you know, so so that what's extremely important for people, narcissistic people do stuff like this. Some people have narcissistic parents. You know, you'll have a mother who is extremely narcissistic. She may be jealous of the daughter, may be doing anything and everything, everything to harm the daughter. This same mother may, the daughter may come home one day and find out that the mother is sleeping with the daughter's boyfriend or sleeping with the daughter's husband. Okay, this is, these are the type of people that I'm talking about. Then when they do stuff to you and then they do some more stuff to you and they do some more stuff to you and they do some more stuff to you, get you to the point that either you're going to go crazy or you're going to go to the dark side to the point to where you like, I'm going to make this person disappear. Now, I'm not for violence. I am not for violence at all. But I'm telling you, this is part of the reason why you want to leave narcissistic people alone. You run. You run. They have no conscience. They, they'll go in your bank account, steal all your money out of the bank account. You be like, hey, honey, did you take, did you take $1,500 out of my bank account? No, I ain't. No, uh-uh. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, hey, would you buy all that new perfume and that new jewelry? Oh, man, this was a gift. 
Yeah, that look like that gift costs about $1,500. Okay, they do stuff like that. They don't care. The, uh, now, I'm telling you, they, they will cause your downfall. Narcissistic people will set you up to be deleted. Do you hear what I'm saying? This is, this is how wicked some of these people are. They will set you up to be deleted. And uh, so... Uh, I could give an example. I'm not going to give an example with more, but one thing I've seen something that almost happened to me. But you need to be extremely careful of these type of people. They will. And then also, too, if you're with a narcissistic person, just assume, just assume that you ain't the only one they're screwing around with. They're going to be screwing around with four or five other people, and you the six one. They're going to be screwing around with four or five hundred other people, and you the sixth person. Okay, just automatic, just like you automatically assume that they're lying because they're going to get caught in a lie sooner or later. Just automatically assuming that they're screwing about a half dozen people or more. Okay, they don't care. They, they're not even going to care with, if they get HIV or AIDS and give it to you. They might get HIV, give it to you, and it's like, uh, man, I don't know how you got that. You know, what they call gaslighting. They'll do stuff like that. I knew a woman. Um, let me tell you, and this is an example of a narcissistic person. There was uh, a friend of mine was about to marry this woman. Actually, he didn't just about to marry her. He did marry her. A friend of mine, let me say once again, fair use, fair use. A friend of mine told me he was uh, going to marry, he was going out with this particular woman. And I said, which woman are you going out with? Now, he met this woman in church. So this is what you need to be careful of females and males don't just think that just because you go to church you won't meet some demon in church hello are you on the line hello huh? hello hello just because you go to church don't mean you won't meet some demon in church trust me trust me plenty of demons are in the church okay and they up in that pulpit too all right yep they in that pulpit too you <laughs> Some of them pastors, you go over, you bend over a little bit too hard, they might be rubbing you on your behind. Or I wanna play, I wanna pray for your sister, they rub it on your breast and stuff like that. Hey, happens that even in church, you gotta be careful. A friend of mine, he met this woman in church, a same woman that I went to school with when I was going up to uh, the university. And um I knew a lot about her. I knew what she was doing when she was up at the university. The same woman was trying to screw everybody and their daddy. She was. And 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 supposedly had a, a boyfriend at another university and had a boyfriend at the university that she was at. Plus, she was screwing some football players and, and a bunch of other people, too. So, but basically, in a nutshell, she gets around. She got around big time. So, uh, a number of years later, a friend of mine was like, man, you know, he like now, this woman was a very nice looking woman. I mean, she was she was fine. She was this woman was beautiful. I mean, just like small waist, nice hips, nice shapely behind, nice full big breasts, um, beautiful smile, full lips, beautiful black woman, okay, beautiful. But you couldn't trust her as far as you could throw her. Cause she'll she'll she will screw around on you and Screw around this other person, screw around. And like I said, remember what I said about narcissistic people? They have no conscience. They go to sleep at night and they sleep even better when they did evil to somebody. So anyway, girlfriend, a uh, buddy of mine had uh, decided he started going out with her. I told her about, told him about her. Oh yeah, I know about her background. I know. I'm like, okay, man, you know. So I was like, maybe, hey, maybe she changed, okay? So I looked up one day and he didn't marry the woman. I was like, dude, are you serious? Come on, man, don't be lying to me. Please don't be lying to me and telling me that you married this woman. Man, I married this woman. I was like, oh, man, no, you didn't. And I'm like, man, you talking about my man's wife. Oh, God, okay, all right, let me get myself together. So I told my man, I was like, hey, man, maybe she changed. Hey, I happen to be the type of person I believe people can change if they want to change. Well, her her particular situation, she didn't want to change. She was the same person that she was years later as she was when she was at the university, screwing everybody and their daddy, and probably everybody and their mama too. Anyway, on with the story. 
Uh, so he marries her. And I know what she did. She screwed his brains out. Screwed his brains out. Figured, hey, he can't live without this woman. So anyway, they get married. So I'm like, hey, man, maybe she changed. I hope I hope y'all have a happy marriage together. He comes to tell me she on the other side, on darn near on the other side of the United States, going to law school. I'm like, dude, why is your wife, your brand new wife, going to law school on the other side, of the, almost on the other, night, other side of the United States? I said, there's plenty of law schools here in Michigan. You got law schools here in the Detroit area. So I'm like, so what are you talking about, man? Why you, why she going to have to go over there? So anyway, this man, to make a long story short, in this story time, girlfriend just completely destroyed my man's career. He was an up attorney. He was an up and coming attorney. He was working for this law firm. Law firm was paying him about forty, forty five thousand dollars a year, and gonna pay for all his law school, and had a position waiting for him when he graduates law school, along with giving him a salary. His wife destroyed his career, completely destroyed his career. And like I said before, they have no conscience. She don't care. So anyway, not only did she basically destroy his career, she he found out she was out there screwing around on him. So basically in a nutshell, he had enough of it. She destroyed, destroyed his career and, and uh, got a divorce from the woman. And so my man came back to me later on. He said, man, you're the only one to try to tell me. You're the only one to try to tell me. You are the only one that tried to tell me. I said, okay, man, I have no problem, man. Man, he called me one day. He told me that he came into Detroit, and he was uh, working out at one of the workout facilities in the metro Detroit area and ran into his ex-wife, the one that destroyed his career. Well, anyway, um, ran into her. She wanted to get back together with him. He like, you want to get back together with me? Why you want to get back together with me now? And why you want to all of a sudden want to be good now? You out here screwing everybody. So, so she was in hopes that he would want to take her back. Let me tell you what he told me. He said, man, that woman sat up here and told me she got HIV. I'm like, what? She got HIV. So the only reason why she wanted to act right now and not be out there screwing everybody and now she want to be a wife is because while she was out there screwing around with everybody, she got HIV. This same woman, this same woman is a professional. That's if she's still alive because she might not be alive. See, this is why you don't want to screw around, be out there in the street and stuff because you don't know who got HIV or not. They are there. They have medicines that will keep a person with HIV alive for many years. Okay, there are people that's been had HIV for ten years. They and the medicine keeps them alive. Then again, you know this lady could be dead as I'm talking. I don't know. So this is a result. If you want something to keep you your behind out of the street, this is one of the reasons that you need to keep in mind as to keep your butt out in the street if you one of these women that's out here trying to screw everybody. Okay, you can get HIV, you can get AIDS. There's people walking, they had a woman not too long ago. Once again, I said fair use. Woman not too long ago. She was, uh, uh, had a YouTube video. She got real sick as I don't know what. Real sick, she went to the hospital. Doctors didn't know what was wrong with her. Doctors didn't know what was wrong with this particular woman. Well, they found out. They did tests, and they took some more tests, and they took some more tests, and took some more tests. The doctor came in to the hospital room, talked with the woman, said, ma'am, from our test results, we found out you got AIDS. The lady was like, I got AIDS. The man was like, yeah, you have AIDS. And from our lab results, you've been walking around with AIDS from eight, for eight to 10 years. So, Every person that you have slept with for the last 10 years, you're going to have to get in contact with and call them and let them know that they may have AIDS or HIV. So hopefully this will encourage you not to be out there sleeping around. Hopefully this will encourage you or show you some signs of different things that you need to be aware of when you are dealing with a narcissistic person. 
this person here that I'm talking about is a classic narcissistic person. This person was out here screwing around with everybody and their daddy, everybody and their mama, and could care less how it affected her husband, okay? These are some of the signs that you look for. They have no conscience. They get over, they get off on seeing other people in pain, causing people pain and suffering and misery. These are the qualities of a narcissistic person. They're wicked. They get off on seeing people in pain and causing people pain and suffering. You follow me? So, I'm going to make this short. I hope you learned a lot from this series. I'm going to let this be the last one in the series of uh, women that pick the wrong men. I want you to know, ladies, this is a very, very extremely important piece of information. You see somebody with these qualities, run. 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 Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and peace.